Hello, my name is Joshua Roy with Rudd's Home Farm. Today I wanna to show you my prototype DIY NFT system with no PVC pipes. Um, I did it for about 50 bucks. I went to the uh, hydroponic store and I talked to an expert at the hydroponic store. And uh, first of all, I figured out a lot of things that I've been doing wrong, which will come out in future videos. But he also showed me a cool way that uh, I could kind of do my NFT system that I've been wanting to do for a while now. So if you like this video, if you like my DIY system, it's just made from just the $50 and pretty much just cobbled together from other stuff I have around the house. So if you like this video, subscribe and check out my website for a lot of more cool videos. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here it is in all its glory. Uh, you got the submersible pump here. All right. Um, you got your lines, water lines. Um, since I did not have any valves, I had clamps. So I just clamped the valve. This is a half inch piping system. So uh, yeah, so there's that. So pretty much I clamped. I had problems with one side filling up faster than the other side. So I went ahead and I throttled both sides. And uh, you can see I got this here. It's a T, this T just keeps, keeps it in there. So I had, it's a T that I got from the store and uh, didn't want to spill that, but I did. And how it works is it, the pump comes around up, goes to this T, it goes to this side and to this side. And then it comes out through a little grommet. I, did, I never knew the name of this, but so if you want to know, this is a grommet with a G and uh, you, this, this allows you to penetrate it without it leaking, penetrate uh, through the plastic without leaking. Uh, and then it drips down here, back in the bucket, around again. And so this is, this is an NFT system. You can see over here, you got your nutrient film, you got your plants. Uh, this is, I did this about maybe 12 hours ago. Maybe, uh, no, about, yeah, a little bit more than 12 hours ago. Lettuce already has responded really well. And I also changed the uh, nutrient type too. I've just been noticing that my plants have been not growing very fast. Um, what made me really want to do this system was I saw um, my friend, me, Hydro Haven. He grew a four pound cabbage plant and uh, I was wondering like, why is this so big? And so go check out his cabbage plant. He I made a new record for himself with the largest cabbage plant he's ever grown. Uh, his uh, channel will be in the description below and I'll even link to the video. Check him out, man. He's, he's growing some pretty cool things. So I also have a bubbler here, <clears throat> air bubbler to keep things going. And of course there's a bubbler machine. I know I said no PVC pipe, but this is just holds these things down. I might not even need them now. So I could just do that. I didn't show you that. Okay, so, but the, this is just a scrap piece of PVC I had from other projects. And so, oh yeah, it's tripped that all over the place. Anyway, so that, that keeps that, <clears throat> those pipes in there. Could be anything, tubular. So a pretty simple system. I, I saw a line of all the expensive Amazon sy systems and stuff like that. And I was like, Man, I just, it can't be that hard just to make water go up, flow across some plants, and then go back to a bucket. And, but those people were all making a very hard PVC, build your own giant PVC type. And this is grow trays, I already use grow trays. And so this is a perfect little addition here. You can get a better look at it. You can see it's, it's even, it's nice and even along the whole way. You can see inside it slurps in there. Um, I'm going to, this is a prototype. So I got a drip irrigation system coming in and I'm gonna replace a lot of this stuff with actual irrigation stuff, not some cobbled together Home Depot stuff. But this is as basic as an NFT system needs to run. You can see it's coming back. You can see everything is just working really well. This lettuce has boomed. I also, another thing I did is I switched from soft water so here's my soft water 
water system over here. So here's my pipe. I installed this pipe over here. Okay, so I installed that. And then this is before my softener. This is after the softener. Okay, but now I got new water installed before the softener. And there's my new new water. That's non, that's regular water. What was happening was the nutrient solution, the nutrients, salt-based. These are all salt-based nutrients, fluorogrow, hydro, general hydroponics and stuff like that. And your water was salty. And so you're over salting your plants and they'll, they have stunted growth because they got nutrient locked out because of the too much salt accumulated around the roots. But these have already, like here, I've already like shot up in just a few hours. In comparison, these are, here are some like similar plants over here that are, have soft water. So you can kind of already see, these are like several weeks old. I was wondering why, why, if these are several weeks old, why it's taken forever. And then I just switched over to this and they're already huge. I can't wait to see what a week will bring. So, so thanks for watching. Uh, it's just a prototype. Um, I want, I was just so excited to show you guys the, the prototype NFT system and it's such a relief that it doesn't have to be these difficult PVC tubing types that you need to be a carpenter to assemble. And so I just wanted to show you that prototype. Um, I'm gonna get my, my drip irrigation kit in and I'm gonna make it look better. And then I'll shoot another video on the finished product and also how these plants are doing since then. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.